All right, listen up. We're talking about advice for new streamers out there, and these are the mistakes that people are making that are holding you back from growing on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Facebook Gaming. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild, coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to improve and grow your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, and at any point, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about in this video, I put all the links in the show notes below, so make sure you check those out. If you're new to streaming or you just started your streaming adventure, there are a lot of mistakes out there that new streamers make and nobody's showing you how to fix all these problems. So in this video right here, I'm gonna show you the best advice I can give you on how to fix common problems on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook gaming, that's gonna help you on the correct path for your streaming journey. So let me show you what you need to do. Now, if you started streaming on any of these streaming platforms, you've probably had looping sound and you're not sure where it's coming from. This is actually a really common problem with brand new streamers out there. This is easy. You have your video player open and you haven't set it to a mute setting. So every time you talk, it's going on a cycle of just putting you back into your own stream and having this echoing sound. So make sure you mute any video player that you have open in your own channel. How many of you out there have streamed for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, and nobody's said a word? It might be because you're under the wrong game category. Happens all the time. Make sure before you launch your stream, your title's correct, your game category is correct, and make sure you add all the corresponding tags that you need to add before you launch. You know, I did a video on this, things you need to do before you go live, I'll put it in the top of the card, but make sure you always check your gaming category and title before you hit that go live button. One thing that chases off brand new people to your stream is music. And I don't mean your genre of music, I mean the way that it's played through your stream. You know, music's a great thing, but if you're having it play in the background of you and your environment and it's feeding through your microphone or through your headset, and it's coming through with a lot of gain or static, guess what? People are not gonna watch you, they're gonna leave. If you wanna have music in your stream, you need to make sure you do it properly. If you'd like me to do a video on how to stream music into your channel, make sure you leave a comment below, but if you're playing music in the background, cut it off because nobody's ever gonna watch you stream with that kind of static. If you're just starting out, don't fall into the pit hole of getting all the equipment that you need. I'd rather have you invest into your stream rather than your equipment. Don't be afraid to commission an artist out there or somebody on Fiverr for some good panels or some good graphics or good alerts. You can always work your way up on your equipment, but making a visual impact at the beginning of your streaming career is gonna be huge and pay off way more. And to be honest, if you've got the money to buy really cool equipment out there, you've got the money to pay a professional to make really good graphics and panels for you out there. So don't stingy out on that. If you're brand new to Twitch, please do me this favor and don't stream big AAA titles or blockbuster games. You're not gonna get discovered that way and you're gonna get discouraged. You need to be strategic on what games you're gonna play that you one, enjoy, and two, are gonna help you get discovered or searched or reviewed when people click on a certain game category. And I've done many, many videos on this. I'll put a playlist in the show notes below and also I'll put a card up here for how to get discovered in 2019, so make sure you check that out. If you're starting out with streaming, make sure that you never call out your lurkers. A lot of common problems that I always get asked in my stream coaching is, hey, I have people watch me, but nobody ever talks or nobody ever engages. You have to understand, people sometimes are there just to listen and or watch. They're not really going to engage. And if you try to force them to engage, you're gonna lose that viewership. Let them come out of lurking. And one problem that people always seem to do that makes lurkers leave really quick is calling them out by looking in the playlist or the uh, viewer list to see who's in there. Or if you have a bot that auto generates a welcome. If somebody comes in there and is lurking for a few minutes and your bot recognizes them and says hello, trust me, they're not gonna stay, they're gonna leave. One of the best pieces of advice that I can give to brand new streamers out there and listen up is be aware of troll messages and troll donations. It's the internet. People don't always have your best interest out there and people are gonna try to pull the wool over your eyes. And this happens a lot on Twitch. People are gonna send fake messages, they're gonna send messages that say delete, and they're gonna send messages that shows that they're sending a donation. 
These are all fake. You'll know when they're real by how you stream and how you get your experience as you go. You'll know if you get a real donation, check your PayPal or check the service that you're going through. Not sure if you're getting deleted messages? Ask your mod, see if they deleted anything or if you did. Not sure if you're getting real messages from a person? Check the viewer list. There's a bunch of different ways, but be aware that people are gonna try to pull the wool over your eyes, especially donations. This next tip isn't for everybody because you may be a person that really excels at this, but I wanna make you all aware of it and I'm exceptionally guilty of it. Try not to sing on stream if you're not doing a music or a singing stream. Cause you know why? Your microphone that you have isn't gonna pick up the acoustics that you need. The room you're in is not gonna sound good. It's probably not going through an amp or a preamp. It's gonna have no reverb in it. It's not gonna have anything like that. And it's gonna sound atrocious as it's coming through your stream. And it's probably not even hooked up correctly to the music that you're playing. There's gonna be latency issues and you're gonna be off. So it's just a big mishmash of things. So be careful as you sing. I do this all the time because I love song and you probably do too. Just be aware of it because you may chase some people off. But if you've got a golden voice out there, it actually might be something good that makes you stand out. So that's why I say this tip's not for everyone, but it's up for you to decide. One thing that I personally hate, and I know a lot of streamers out there hate as well, is don't spam messages. And I don't mean in the chat, that's a good tip as well, but don't spam social media messages. Nothing angers or rages me more when somebody sends me a message on a tweet or an IG message or a Discord message or a Snap message and it has me and 40 other people attached to the message that I have no idea who they are and it's just a gangbuster of a bulk spammed message out there. And before you know it, I've got 28 replies from people I have no idea who this is. And this doesn't entice anyone to check you out. Never bulk spam any social media messages. It's gonna do you a huge disservice. Likewise, this note is also gonna work well for you. Never spam or never message or tag any gigantic streamer out there that you don't have a personal relationship with or you have an in with because again, they're just gonna not look at it or worse, they may block you or they'll never come to your channel or just you know ban you kind of in a sense. Be very careful and strategic about how you reach out to people on social media. And the last big tip that I'm gonna give for advice for brand new streamers on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Facebook gaming, don't stream every day, please. There's a huge difference between consistency and frequency, and I'll do a video on this when I get a moment to catch up with everything here, because there's a huge difference, in, difference between the two. I want you to be consistent, but I want you to be strategic, and that requires you to stream only a finite amount of days. Yes, I know you probably have a full seven day open schedule that you can stream, you know, five to 10 hours for those days, but trust me, there's no point in doing that if you're streaming to zero people. You need to be strategic. Refine down the days, be strategic about what games and what times that you're gonna play, and if you do have extra time, you know what? Go in other people's streams, start to network, start to form a community with all those people. You'll be surprised, you'll probably grow quicker off streaming than you will when you're live streaming. Trust me, this happens a lot. And there you go, those are some of the biggest common mistakes that brand new streamers make. And that's the best advice I can give you to get a leg up on the competition. If you guys have any good advice that you'd like to share with the community or even me out there, you know what to do. Leave me a message in the comments below. If you guys like this type of content and you wanna see more content around advice or how to help out new streamers or anything like that, again, leave a comment below and don't be afraid to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram to know when my videos go live for all of you out there. And if you'd like to see me stream or you need any help with stream coaching, don't be afraid to mosey on over to twitch.tv slash wildforgames. And if you like what you see, hit that almighty subscribe button and help me out. Thank you to those that already have. I will see you all in the next stream support video coming up real quick. Take care all, peace.